This video is to install Git on a Windows machine. Let's check to see if we have Windows or if we have Git installed already. So I'm going to click on the Windows icon in the bottom left and I'm just going to type in CMD. That's going to bring up my command prompt. I can hit enter to open that up and your pathway will be different than mine at the prompt there. Don't worry about that. We're just going to type in Git space dash dash version and hit the enter key. If you get a command like mine that says it's not recognized, you do not have get installed on your computer. If you get a version number back, that means you already have get installed and you don't need to install it. But you might want to check your global config um, settings that we'll do here in a minute. All right, so those of you that don't have that installed, you're gonna to want to go to this website. It's git, T-I-T dash S dash C, or sorry, S-C-M dot com slash downloads. So git dash S-C-M dot com slash downloads. And you should see the different operating system downloads that you can choose. Windows machines, obviously, we'll click on Windows. And this should start up a download automatically. You'll be getting a .exe file to come up. It's not huge. If you click it and open it, it will begin running the install. And it's asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to say yes. And I'll go ahead and agree to the information here. And I'm just going to leave defaults on all of these windows. And so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to look again, defaults, default, 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 default. Default, default, there's lots of steps involved here. And then and say install. And then we'll go ahead and give that a minute to install. All right, we'll let that finish up. And once that's um, done, we can, we don't need to review the release notes. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but we'll finish that. Now if I go back to my command prompt, and if you close that, just click on uh, the Windows and CMD again. We, if we put that Git version, again, actually we can just hit the up arrow, and we'll get the same command as last time, and hit that, hold on. Okay, I had to open up a new window to kind of refresh my command prompt. So I'm going to hit the the window icon again, whoops, and type CMD. And this time I'll try it one more time. So I closed out my term, my um, command prompt, command window, and I'm gonna type it again. Git version, there we go. That's what we should see that you've got a version. Your version number might be different and that's just fine. This video might be a little old for you when you view it. Um, but there we see that we now have Git on our computer. We do need to let it know who we are, and we're going to need to run just a few command line, um, few command line commands. And it doesn't really matter where we're at in our pathway here on our prompt, because Git is run globally on our machine, so it's going to work wherever we're at. So don't worry about your prompt looking a little different, but we're going to go ahead and type in these two commands. And um, so I'm going to say git config and space dash dash global user dot name. And then here's where you're going to put in the username that you set up with your GitHub account. So you'll need to figure out, you'll need to go and look at your own username for that GitHub account that we set up. The username that I used, now you'll put your own here, not mine. Um, I'll just put WDDBYU 
Idaho and then hit enter. And I'm going to do a similar one. So I'm going to up arrow. And this time, instead of the username, we're going to go ahead and change the user email. And go ahead and put in your email account that you used to set up yours, which would be your BYUI if you followed my suggestions. I already had one with my BYUI one. So I'm going to go ahead and put in another one. So this would be your BYUI email, not a Gmail like mine. All right, hit enter. And now it should know who you are and be connected with your account there a little better. So there we have a Windows install of Git locally on your computer.